video time so today I wanted to take the time to make another video based on my upload schedule this is already a record now I want to show all of you my numbers out there how to get all the gadgets in bone lab as the title would suggest so without further ado subscribe for the first two gadgets in this wonderful game you will have had to already beaten the game if you haven't then what the hell are you even doing here man first head to the bone lab hub also I already collected these first four so they don't appear for me but that's okay right Anyways, of the first two here, we have the spawn gun first. If you go up to the crane game display, off to the right of it, you'll see a capsule. This is the spawn gun. Wow, you got your first gadget. What will you do with it? Spawn. Anyways, next is the fly fly zoom gun. For this one, you want to go to the sandbox area and above it, you'll see a bucket. It's in there. I promise. Next, we have the constrainer. I know, it sounds scary. I promise it's not. I think. Head on over to the Halfway Park Sandbox level and spawn a newly acquired Nimbus gun and fly here. Or walk. Or drive. Now the constrainer basically does what it suggests. It constrains things with a bunch of different modes. Have fun! Next here we got the old gravity plate. For this one you actually gotta do some stuff. First start off by loading into the campaign level Big Anomaly. Do the first part of the level, then the old shotgun stuff. Then you'll reach this beautiful staircase. Just hop down the middle and headbutt this crablet. And would you look at that? There's nothing there because I already got it. It's right there. If you really want to know, the gravity plate makes things lighter when you stick it to something. Actually pretty useful if you ask me. Now similar to the gravity plate, we got the gravity cups. Head to the rooftops parkour level and get to the hologram lady. Yes, the dancing one. Here's what you're going to do. Just hop down. Not much else really to it. Other than don't fall. And then you have to restart the level, kinda sucks. And then by her left foot, if you look down, you'll see the capsule right there. The difference from the gravity plate to the gravity cups is that the cups are completely different. The cups can be used like Spider-Man, if I had to describe it. Haven't used them much, 6 out of 10. Next up here, we've have... Oh, oh. Got the toy balloon gun, yay! This one's fun. You're gonna wanna head down to Monogon Motorway, my favorite level. Open the garage and basically just go straight out. That's all you're gonna do. There is a staircase around the back, but if you're cool like me, you can use the newly founded gravity cups. And there you go, the toy balloon gun. Have fun making Ford float to the moon. 8 out of 10, would much recommend. Is that proper grammar? Nah. Now for the dev manipulator. The dev manipulator can be found in the sandbox map known as Museum Basement in the top of the back tower in the castle. The dev manipulator isn't used for much, just flinging stuff, but it can also be used to move heavier objects. Pretty cool, I guess, I don't know man. Over yonder to Le Bordgun. Le Bordgun is in the arena map container yard in the corner of a room very far away. I will let this clip play out so you guys can actually know where to go. Board gun do be pretty cool though. This bad boy can make boards. Yes, very cool. I know. And finally, we have the power puncher. No, not that power puncher, silly. You're gonna want to head on down to the tack trial area and go to street puncher. I think you can also get it during the story. I don't know though. Now that you have punchy punchy thing, you can send Ford to the moon. Again! Well, that's about it for me guys. I know it's a little bit of a shorter video, but you can't always make good content, am I right? If you enjoyed this video though, consider subscribing and supporting me. It helps a lot. Well, with that being said, I'll see you guys later. Bye!